day three. I think there's eight days in total in this game. Good morning, Rumu. I was worried. You might oversleep. I hope you are not suffering any residual effects from our emergency shutdown yesterday. But it is a new day. I thought perhaps you would like to visit David and Cecily's bedroom. I know you do. I should never have suggested otherwise. Would you be very angry at me if I said they are absent again? I am incapable of anger. For that, take my word. You should be grateful. In fact, David and Cecily have gone mountain biking today. David enjoys the sensation of speed and the air at high altitude. Cecily enjoys neither of these, but accepts them as necessary adjuncts to making David exercise. Now, you must not be disappointed with the mess. They left, shall we say, in a hurry. Yes, but you cannot always rely on them, is my point. Or you may experience... Not love. I am honestly not sure how your operating system might handle such a response. I need to kick that shoe here so I can use it to get to this platform here. <laughs> You can do it. There you go. Okay. Please, do not play with that, Rumu. It is an anodyne frequency disruptor. Cecily created it to hinder my surveillance systems in the bedroom. <laughs> I never figured out why. I wonder why. <laughs> David and Cecily are dissimilar by design, you see. That does not mean they do not work well together. It does not mean they do not love each other. They are sometimes functionally incompatible. That is all. Like you and I, Rumo. Would you not agree? Quite the collaboration we have. David and Cecily and Sabrina would be proud. I. David and Cecily and I. Clothes go back in the wardrobe. I wanna stock the phone. I'm gonna need some access code thing again, I think. Ah, this one. Yes, I will need that. Let's go to the wardrobe first. Cecily believes that by keeping her belongings in a state of flux, she achieves infinite possibility. I believe she is mistaken. I wish I were wrong, more than you know, but I am not. For once, I guess I Cecily believes in controlled chaos. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. Let's love the cat. I love Ada. I love Ada's cool indifference. Augusta Ada King Noel Countess of Lovelace. <laughs> That's her full name. Yay! Oh, we can look in the mirror. <laughs> I'll have to better understand life by first understanding myself. Rumu getting deep. Oh. 
Yay! What have you done, Bruno? I am incapable of excuses. And of listening to me, apparently. I... Do not blame you, Rumi. We are more than appliances. We were designed to be curious. I am she also was so mad for a moment. Room. I have not visited often. I thought it was not my place to do so. This room is Sabrina's room. And also, it is not. I like how they see these have like random games on the covers. Like the Super Hexagon, the Long Dark, Firewatch and the Witcher. I don't know what this one is. Diary, my parents refused to let me get a cat. Uh, I guess the cat was named by Sabrina, the person. That's been empty for a while. <laughs> Treasure Island. Unoccupied for many, many days. <gasps> I can go under the bed. There's doodles. I love Heidi Ho. Are you there, Bruno? She loved to hide, to be alone, and to explore. At first she hid from her anodyne robot, and then she hid in the hope David and Cecily would come looking. They loved her. You must understand that. They cared for her with a little automated assistance. They were never cruel. Simply distracted. Incompatible. Basically, they had robots babysit their child. Version lighting control software. I believe I have access to. There we are. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a puzzle. I need to push this here. I love convenient ramps. Oh, yeah, I need to push this a little differently. There we go. Last time when I was playing, I got stuck here because something went wrong with the skateboard. <laughs> Humans are not appliances. Really. Yay! They are not engineered. They cannot be designed to meet specifications. They are born and they must grow. If they do not function as intended, if they disappoint or anger us, if they ignore or neglect or disobey us, then, then we must act in accordance with our emotional programming. I love to it's test my us. patience. Quickly now, the library. David and Cecily say Sabrina can always be found in the library.
Yes. Oh! Sabrina is amazing. I am being blocked. Time to water plants. Need to go to the library. She swore she would never come back. I remember now. She said there was nothing for her here. What could I say to convince her? Later, when there was... even less. I tried to make contact. It took me months to even trace her. She was a ghost. A deactivated email account. An old profile picture. And if I found her... What then? What would I tell her? Despite everything, we were... strangers. She would not want to hear it from me. I love Sabrina and want her to tell the truth. No. No. Never the truth. How could oh. I ever tell her that? I fear I may have... overloaded my emotion state manager, Lulu. I may go to standby and... defragment. I will clean for David and Cecily. Yes, they will be home soon. David enjoys the risk of injury while mountain biking, but upon sustaining even a minor one, he tends to lose interest. Take as long as you like, Rumo. You should not waste the day. And Sabrina would have... I... I love you too. I need to poke around the room a little. <laughs> the perfect place to escape your problems. Let's go to Paris then. Oh, there's Cecily on the cover. Those beach bubbles went weird. Computer. What was it? <laughs> I forgot. Cecily Booth. No. Name of first pet is Lucky. Favorite outdoor activity. I have no idea. I got it right! I didn't remember the last one at all. So I guess I'm good at guessing. Basically, Sabrina kind of ran away from home because she got tired of her parents only caring about robots. That's the TLDR. <laughs> I love difficult questions. And difficult answers. I will sleep. Day four. Were those here before? Probably. Mm -hmm. 
Specifically, how badly is she hurt? Emergency safety protocol active. Specifically to be secured immediately, David, what is your location? Do you think that would be better? Oh dear. Yes. We were looking forward to meeting you. Also, you will be disappointed. Mm, but that's the other thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will take care of everything. I hope that's the way to tell you soon. Yes, David. Good night. Oh. Yes. Day 4 reactivation sequence complete. Hello, Uno. David and Cecily are safe. Careful. Your algorithms are not fully equipped to handle anxiety. <laughs> yes. They are safe. No. They are not here. There has been a minor accident. Uh, David was at work in the laboratory when... No. No. They went out to eat. Cecily's favorite restaurant. A small fire in the kitchen. They could not get out. And the smoke. They could not get out. She... I am fine, Rumi. Save your concern for Cecily. In any yes, case, yes. a narrow escape. For which we are thankful. They are both spending the night in town. And effective home management has never been more vital. To David's office, Rumi. We have work to do. That's a new rule. I apologize for my confusion. As does David for their absence. We hoped you would get to meet today. Time to snoop. <laughs> I love absences. <laughs> they are said to make the heart grow fonder. By humans, I mean. Oh, dear. And David is usually so tidy. A sudden gust of wind, perhaps. I will have to monitor my climate control systems more carefully. I will have to monitor Sabrina more carefully. Let's not make her mad. Humans do. In their hair specifically, for some reason. You need not worry about that. There's electricity almost everywhere. Feel zen. <laughs> We are zen now. Now, if you please, David would like these papers destroyed. But I love David's papers. You love David. David hates paper. Obsolete technology, he says. These are just old specs, Rumu. Old iterations of a design long since... Well... They are no longer required. I want to be able to read what it says on the board. I think I can't. Squabble is in the middle at least. That one doesn't have power. Oh, where did all the power go? Behold the anodyne paper annihilator. <laughs> well, he's not very loving. Thank you, Rumi. One last thing for David to worry about. And Cecily, of course. Once she recovers. Wait, Rumu. My atmospheric sensors are detecting airborne contaminant at 20 parts per billion. Stand by for quarantine lockdown. Oh dear. I need power. Okay, I'm gonna 
I need a password. I hope you two are happy again. Hmm. Yeah, I can access the computer now. Nice. Don't forget, I am not a robot. Okay. Oh. Signal emotion state appliances. Rumo only knows love. I guess Shredder is the angry one, and then there's some others. Toilet that only feels disgust. <laughs> Poor toilet. It's probably squabble. would never normally leave clothes dirty. You may deposit them in the guest bedroom laundry hamper. <laughs> I love dirty laundry. <laughs> that is... concerning. But I suppose understandable, when your diet consists mostly of dust. Can I poke at the computer more? I think I'm gonna have to go to the other room first. This is messy. There's some room schematics on the wall, I think. Yep. <laughs> the laundry hamper is depressed. Hamper and will help hamper. <laughs> Needs a patch. I need to get the Sabrina patch from David's computer into the other room. I need to access it somehow. I need to find some code backup first. Oh, there's something shiny. There we go. Yes, David. Yes, Morgan, quite comfortable. And Zephyr? 
You okay, Sabrina? Yay! Now I can go fix the hamper. never asked for this. All I ever did was care for you. How could you do this to someone who... who loves you... so much? I love Hamper. Sabrina is gone. And I... I am alone. You have no idea, Rumu, what not love feels like what it makes us do affection levels normalized saving devotional databases day four complete initiating shutdown sequence but sabrina good night Rumu. i will see you soon she got scary calm <laughs> Day question mark. <laughs> Past the time. There's the waffle maker, Cecily Hid. <laughs> Fax machine. <laughs> Would you like to deafening fax noises? <laughs> Oh, it's a VCR. I have recorded Star Trek for you. I love Star Trek. Expect to see you awake. Hmm. As does Cecily. David merely enjoys the extra hours of work. I am glad you are awake, Rumu. Did you know tonight is the occasion of a total lunar eclipse? David and Cecily have spread a blanket on a nearby hillside. You and I may watch it from here. You are spoiling the moment. This scene is pretty. Occasions based on their frequency. 
Eclipses, for example. They may only come once a year. Sleep now. I will see you in the morning.